Mixed signals are never just mixed signals. But what are they then? Let's talk about that in this week's priority message. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey friends, so the subject of mixed signals was suggested to me by someone as a topic and I think it's a good one because it's something that we have all likely had to deal with in some manner throughout our lives. When you say mixed signals, most people think they only apply in romantic relationships, but that's actually not true. They can be very much a thing in friendships and many other kinds of relationships too. I'll start out by saying this. I like to know where I stand with people. I don't do fakery. I don't play games. I don't do push and pull stuff with anyone. The older I get, the more I really value authenticity. I am exactly who I say I am. 100% of the time, and I expect people to be that way with me too. When they aren't, well, to put it bluntly, they gotta go. Now, with that said, I have definitely entertained my share of mixed signals in the past. Maybe you have too, and if you have, you know they can create a lot of confusion and hurt feelings when you're on the receiving end. They can make you question so many things. Hell, sometimes they make you question yourself even. And whether the mixed signals were intentional or not, the result is usually the same, hurt and confusion. And it can be very hard to work through those issues because they erode your trust in that other person. The sad truth is though, there are only a small number of cases where mixed signals are simply a product of poor communication or misunderstanding. They are almost always something people do with intention. It's kind of funny, perhaps one of the most ironic things about mixed signals is that even though they are often contradictory, there is usually a kernel of real in there. Those mixed signals are great at telling you what people really think of you if you pay close enough attention. Let me be blunt here for a second. You should never play around with another person's feelings because you're unsure of yours. That isn't being a good person. That's being, well, a number of adjectives I can't say in a video, for starters. But here's something it also makes you, and it is a word I can say, a manipulator. We probably all, unfortunately, know someone who is manipulative, who loves to play games even though they are way too old for that, who is hot and cold with you constantly, who creates this false sense of depth that makes them feel like they are somehow superior to you. They push and pull with you because that makes them feel like they are in total control of what kind of relationship they have with you. These are people who like to keep you on invisible marionette strings, making you work for it, for every single little thing, no matter how insignificant it is. They are all in with you for a period of time and then their behavior drastically changes, often with no warning or reason. They say they care about you, but act in ways that completely disregard your feelings. People like this will use whatever it takes to tilt power in their favor in a relationship of any kind, whether it be guilt trips or shaming or whatever, as long as they can be in control to get you to do what they want. I could go on, but I think you get the point. Mixed messages are often the harbingers of manipulative behavior. They are the canaries in the coal mine that are trying to tell you to watch out so you don't get hurt. That is the good that you can glean from them. And believe me, there's not much else. They can be excellent clues to who someone really is and what their real intentions are with you. Manipulators come in all shapes, sizes, and flavors, but they have one big thing in common. They are all insecure at the root. That is why they manipulate in the first place. It's a manifestation of their lack of self-confidence, which they will never admit to anyone, sometimes not even themselves, because they feel that they lack something somewhere. They will resort to doing whatever they do have to control and persuade. In their mind, that makes up for the lack. It allows them to feel power over someone else, like they call all the shots, like they have something special about them and you should somehow feel lucky to be around them, as if they are doing you some kind of favor by tolerating you, so to speak. Pfft. These people aren't enigmas, they're a-holes, and their behavior is all smoke and mirrors, Wizard of Oz BS behind, which there's probably a lot of nothing. And sure, people like this always seem to be interesting and we wonder what makes them tick because our brains love puzzles and games and finding solutions. Solving a puzzle gives us a hint of dopamine, so we try to figure them out. And it can be crazy making to do so because manipulators don't put forth their real face. They put on whichever one they need to 
to get what they want out of people. And I know what you might be thinking, well, maybe their behavior isn't intentional. Maybe these mixed signals mean they really are just confused. And that might be true in some cases. Behavior is not one size fits all. But while it might be true that there are a small handful of people who really are confused about everything, who they are or hell, life in general, let me give you a free piece of advice. Don't give everyone that much credit. When people do push and pull things with you and it's constant, they are not confused. They are manipulating you. And if we're talking about a romantic relationship, if someone wants the same things as you on the same timeline as you, they will make it happen. If they aren't making it happen, they don't really want it, despite what they may say to the contrary. Mysterious mixed messages from people are big red flags and you should pay attention to them. This is not the hallmark of a solid person. Solid people are consistent, responsive, and hold themselves accountable. They aren't duplicitous. They are clear in who they are and what they want. And when something is evolving, as life often does, you'll know because they will communicate that clearly with you. You won't need to call Scooby-Doo or play detective to help you figure it out. Listen, the minute you start Googling someone's behavior because something is just not sitting right with you, when you are typing things like, what does this mixed message mean? Or how do I know if I'm being lied to in that search bar? You are hopefully and optimistically looking for something that will prove to your heart what your brain already knows. I don't know about you, but my favorite kind of people are the real ones. There is something so refresh refreshing about people who are exactly who they say they are, who don't have ulterior motives for everything. Life is hard enough without having to watch your back constantly or wondering what people's true intentions are with you. When they're good, you'll know because those people will feel good for your soul. And that's who you should aim to surround yourself with. That's all I've got for you this week. I'll be back next week with another priority message. Until then, take good care of yourselves. Bye.